Thanks for joining, and this is how you connect your smart Wi-Fi smart controller or your smart relay to EWELINK, where you want to control everything. So this is my smart relay, and as you can see, I have my index finger on the black button. You want to hold that for three to eight seconds uh, to get it to be in pairing mode. So you can see my index finger on the black button. I'm going to hold it. Usually it takes about three to eight seconds. Uh, and here we go. One, two, three. One, two. Now that it's in pairing mode, uh, I'll just leave it right here. Just something I would like to suggest. Um, you definitely want to do pairing mode as close to your router as possible. So be sure of that. Um, but anyway, uh, now that we know it's in pairing mode, uh, you can go to EWELINK, just search EWELINK and open, download, assuming that you haven't downloaded it yet. Um, so now that we are here, you will need to create an account, but you'll want to go to quick pairing, just like this. You'll want to add one device, so you want to click on that. And I just protected my information. You'll want to put in your Wi-Fi uh, info. So after when we're connecting to the Wi-Fi, we'll wait. Um, usually it takes a couple minutes. If you're doing this correctly, it'll take pretty quick. Now in this example, and I'm just showing this example for worst case scenario, uh, this did take me a while, and you'll see that in a bit. But again, you'll definitely want to be as close to your router as possible uh, when pairing the device and going through this whole process. You definitely want to plug it in next to the router just to pair it. Then you can, of course, just put it wherever you need the device to be. Okay, so this is taking a bit of time. I don't think we're doing this quite correctly. Something's not going right. So I'm going to Wi-Fi, and you can see that weird long name, I-T-E-A-D. Uh, that is actually EWELINK's uh, network that you need to connect to first. And I think that might be the problem. Another issue is I am not close to my Wi-Fi, so that could be the issue as well. You should uh, do the whole pairing process as close to your Wi-Fi, uh, close to your router, I'm sorry, as possible. Um, so you can see right here, a bunch of weird stuff going on. Uh, you can see there's an error that says pairing unsuccessful. Now, usually this, uh, this is pretty quick if you're doing this correctly. But if you're not, you're running into any issues, uh, you'll want to go into compatible mode. And uh, here we are. You'll want to follow these instructions. And I think... Right here, this is not the process. You'll want to enter your actual, um, you'll want to go into your network. So that's not my network. That's EWELINKS. So 4B96 is my network. So this is pretty much like a do-over. And then now it tells you after signing in into your network, now it tells you to sign into their network. I-T-E-A-D, 1,000 weird numbers, password, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then you can see it asks to join uh, Orbi again, and now everything's looking a lot smoother, a lot better. Looks like this is going to be a successful pairing now, and this should be pretty quick. And there we go. So now it's connected. And you can just name it anything you want. I name it PC because I like to control my PC from anywhere in the world. Uh, video is in the description for that if you're interested. But you can see everything's connected for the app, on and off button. And if you have Alexa already signed in and in use, um, the device should be automatically uh, detected in Alexa. So if you check in Alexa, 
you can use Alexa as well. And I'm going to show that in a bit. And you'll see soon enough, PC, new device. So that is how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you uh, want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Uh, share the video. Um, spread the good news. And thanks for watching.